When the mega container ship Dali struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge at 1.28 a.m. on Tuesday, March 26, the world saw a video of a shipwide power outage seconds before the impact. Dali was propelled by a single low-speed two-stroke crosshead diesel engine coupled to a fixed-pitch propeller. The container ship's nine-cylinder unit, manufactured by Hyundai Heavy Industries under license, is rated at 41,000 kilowatts or just over 55,000 horsepower at 82.5 RPM. What had the power to take down a machine of Dali's size and capability? And what does that mean for our boats? There's a reason that every time a sailboat diesel goes wrong, we always change the fuel filters first. It's almost always a fuel problem, and filters are the cheapest and most easily accomplished fix. Diesel fuel can be prone to microbial growth, biocide issues, water intrusion, and cetane issues, any of which can stop our sailboats in their tracks. And we know from experience that when a diesel dies or fails to start, it won't be just sitting in the slip. It'll be in the channel with some ships behind us and speedboats waking us and wind on the nose causing us to spin broadside and clog up a busy waterway or even worse, run aground. Your diesel mechanic will have the best recommendations for your diesel based on their own experience, the age of your vessel, the age of your engine, the hours, and the environment that you operate in. For example, my boat operates typically on the Great Lakes and it gets cold here. I ran an anti-gel additive in mine. And there are a lot of brands out there, but here are some examples of what people are actually using. FPPF Fuel Power Plus Cetane Booster. This raises cetane levels up to eight points, which is critical for optimum engine performance. It eliminates water, it cleans injectors, it lubricates, it prevents icing, and prevents bacterial growth. It acts as a combustion catalyst, reduces emissions, improves fuel economy, and increases equipment longevity. It can be used at every fill-up with usage instructions varying based on the diesel cetane number that you're getting. There's also VP Racing Fuel Cetanium. This increases cetane up to 10 points. It cleans injectors and pumps and improves horsepower and fuel mileage, they claim. It replaces lost lubrication, removes sludge and deposits, and reduces smoke. It provides protection for biodiesel applications and is designed for off-road diesel racing engines too. Lucas Oil Anti-Gel for cold weather. This prevents cold filter plugging in diesel and biodiesel fuels. It contains water dispersants to effectively remove moisture from the entire fuel system. It lowers the cold filter plugging point, ULSD and biofuels, and prevents fuel thickening and gelling. Liquid Performance Marine Diesel Fuel Treatment with Cetane Max. This removes water from fuel and prevents gelling up to negative 40 degrees. It cleans and lubricates the entire fuel system. It boosts cetane and horsepower and prevents algae growth. It stabilizes fuel for over three years and is the only additive needed to maintain all diesel engines. FPPF also makes marine diesel fuel treatment, which eliminates water from the diesel, prevents injector failure, sludge buildup, and acid formation. When used regularly, allows marine craft to run smoother and more efficiently. You can double the dose in cases where water in the fuel is more prevalent to expedite the water removal process. Power Service Diesel Clean Plus Cetane Boost is a total injector cleaner and performance improver loaded with cetane, detergent, and lubrication improvements. It provides peak diesel performance and is part of a recommended year-round maintenance schedule. Given the requirement to guard against all known contaminants, a comprehensive solution like the FPPF Fuel and Power and Cetane Booster or the Liquid Performance Marine Diesel Fuel Treatment with Cetane Max would be suitable choices for most people. These additives offer a broad range of protective measures, including cetane improvement, water removal, cleaning and lubrication of the fuel system, which are essential for maintaining healthy marine diesel engines. It's important to know that we don't accept any ad revenue from any of these products, nor did we laboratory test any of them. These are just very, very commonly used brands. To get very specific information for your needs, it's important for you to consult your diesel mechanic. 
it is important to regularly test diesel and maintain your diesel fuel to prevent these contaminants from causing mechanical issues. On sailboats, the diesel often sits sometimes for years because we rarely use the engines in most cases. Using water separators in these fuel additives, filters, and proper storage techniques can help mitigate the risks. The Dali collision is a big wake-up call if fuel contamination is found to be the culprit. I know for me, my diesel tank does fit out the lazarette hatch, and I have removed it. I brought it home for a winter season while the boat was hauled out on the hard. I was able to drain the tank and look inside with a flashlight, only to find green growth in all the corners of the tank. I blasted it with a pressure washer through the holes and I got rid of all that growth. I dried the tank the best I could and left it sitting open upside down for months to make sure all the water was gone. Knock on wood, I've had no problem since, but this story makes me want to go check it again. It's been a few years. I regularly use Stabil for winter storage on a full tank when the boat gets hauled. A full tank because some old salts once told me that if the tank's full of diesel for the winter, there's less room for water to form from condensation. That makes sense to me. I also changed my oil right before haul out because the same salts told me that used oil can become acidic and should not be left in the engine to sit all winter. What do you treat your fuel with, both before haul out or regularly for everyday use? Are you using additives? Share in the comments and let everyone else know what you've found to be successful and maybe what you haven't. We go into a lot more detail in the full article on this topic, which is on our website. I'll leave a link in the description. It's worth the read.